What's going on, everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. And for today, I just want to talk about a topic that I've been hearing a lot of Bulls coverages talk about. A lot of different media people, you know, a lot of different people that just talk and cover the Bulls. And one thing I've heard, you know, more than one occasion is that the Bulls have had a terrible offseason. You know, I could say we haven't had the best offseason by chance, but a terrible offseason. I'm going to get into that, but before I get into that, I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my page if you haven't. I keep you guys updated with the Bulls content, the Bulls rumors, the Bulls news, everything Bulls, and you know, appreciate all the support that I've been getting on my page. But yeah, let me go ahead and get back into it. And so, a terrible offseason, and I feel like, you know, a lot of these media coverages, people, you know, one thing they want is to live a real life version of nba 2k that's what it sounds like and i'm not gonna call you know different people out because i respect what everybody does anybody who talks bulls or tries to you know cover the bulls you know i respect it because you know that's my favorite team i understand it's a grind and it's hard work and you know i appreciate everything that people do when it comes to giving out that content but yeah a terrible off season no i mean when I say people want to live a real life version of 2K, it's because they want to play the GM version. They want to constantly trade and explore new pieces and, you know, keep moving around and make the team look sexy, make the team look cool, only because they see other teams doing it. In real life, that's not always the case. Just because you see 10 out of the 15 other teams making moves that on paper makes them look better doesn't mean that we necessarily have to do the same thing now yes if you know a move comes to where it would make our team better substantially then yes i'm all for it and make the trade but to make a move just to make a move because you think you'll get better just because other teams thought they got better that's not the way to go if you notice a lot of these top teams they have camaraderie they have you have the golden state warriors you have boston celtics you know those players they've been teammates for years you have teams like the miami heat who's been together you know a lot of these top teams have been together for years and so why do you want to trade everybody on the bulls just because you see other teams trading now i could see if it wasn't no silver lining in all this as we haven't seen the Bulls play good at all last season. So, yeah, let's get rid of them. Let's trade everybody. But the Bulls, before they got injured, were playing amazing. We were the top team in the East. And, yeah, other teams got better. Yeah, they're going to look sexy. That's how it usually is. That's how it usually is when you add a new piece. It's like, oh, okay, this team is looking nice. If you can't build a team or a core that can't work on their chemistry and stay together for a couple of years then you're just playing you know ring around the rosies pretty much and you know that's why i feel like you know these media people who say the bulls have a terrible offseason they only say that because we didn't pick up a whole bunch of new pieces you know we pretty much kept the same core i feel like re-signing zach levine to a max contract alone you know leads us into having a good off season because that was our top priority since when if you had a top priority um you know and you accomplished that you not you don't have a good off season i mean that's number one on our list before trading before picking up a free agent the number one thing we wanted to do was re-sign zach levine and we did so that alone is the reason why we didn't have a terrible off season now, I understand a lot of people feel like the Bulls should be more aggressive. Oh, I was spoiled by the Bulls being aggressive last season. Yes, that was one season. That's the management coming in, recovering the franchise from the likes of guard packs. You know, they were saving us from the turmoil that we were in. So, yes, they had a huge summer and they did that. And they did an excellent job. But that doesn't mean, you know, they have to keep doing that. We don't have guard packs messing up our roster every year anymore. And so, you know, I just feel like, you know, the Bulls, they had an okay offseason. You know, we we achieved our number one goal. You know, we brought a couple pieces on the edge. The Andre Drummond, that's an upgrade. So we've upgraded our backup center. Let's see how the Bulls do when we're healthy 
and then and then we're going to judge and see how our offseason was instead of just going by names and players. So, yeah, that's about it. You know, comment below. Let me know what you guys think, man. Do you guys think we had a terrible offseason? You guys think we had an okay offseason, a good offseason? You know, let me know. Tell me why. And I'm going to talk to you guys later, and I'm out.